Earl Glant, Township Chevrolet, Shop Farming here, and we're doing a brief rundown on shocks and struts, kind of what the difference is and how important they are to the way your vehicle handles and drives and, and, and how uh, it helps the safety of your car. So um, shocks and struts are basically, they do the same job and they're very similar. Uh, this car here is a strut assembly. Uh, you can tell that because you've got the strut and then the spring is over top of it. If this was a shock, it would just be the shock itself. The spring would be off to the side. It would be some, somewhere else, or it would be a torsion bar set up or something. There'd be something other than the spring wrapped around it. So it would just be the strut itself. Uh, most front wheel drive cars, or a lot of them, are this style in the front, and then you've got a shock in the rear. Um, so th there is a recommendation for getting them changed because most of them are, are oil filled, and that oil after over time will break down. Um, there's also seals to keep the oil in, they can leak, um, and that's what we look at, and that's ba basically what the government wants us to look at when we're doing a safety inspection for motor vehicle. They're concerned about to make sure that the shock itself, the body is in good shape, it's not rusted, uh, where it mounts are good because there's usually a rubber mount in the bottom, rubber on the top. Um, in this case, there would also, because it's a strut, there'd be a bearing plate on the top, so when you turn your wheels back and forth, that whole unit can turn. Um, so those things we look at, but the, sh the shock or the strut itself, the actual body, what they're most concerned about is the seal, which is great because if you've got one that's blown, uh, you potentially, uh, you've got no, it's not doing its job at all. It's not dampening at all uh, the spring, which is what it's there for. If you didn't have any shocks in your vehicle, only springs, when you get it on the road, the car would just continuously bounce down the road. So what it is is there's oil, there's usually two, um, I guess reservoirs or chambers and there's a certain size hole it's kind of simplified but there's a certain size orifice or hole in between the two chambers and as the shock body is being pushed down it's pushing the oil out from one side to the other and depending on how big the valves are and how thick the oil is depends on how much it dampens so obviously if the seal's gone there's no oil in there it's just air in there it's able to move free and it's not doing its job at all um, but over time it can break down. So just because your seal isn't uh, ruptured or, or leaking doesn't necessarily mean that your shock is performing like it should be. Um, I've been to a few courses on shocks and struts and one thing they bring up is what they call like a safety triangle. So it's steering, stability and braking. So those are the three main things that struts will and shocks will affect the most. Um, obviously stability when you're driving on the road, if you're uh, you know, going around corners and the, the, the vehicle's shifting from side to side. If you've got sh shocks or struts that are worn out, you're going to have that car die from one side to the other. Um, braking, uh, especially with a front wheel drive car, you want to kind of maintain that flat plane on your vehicle when it tries to brake. You don't want it to nose dive um, or else you've got some, some braking issues and your braking distance will increase dramatically if you've got shocks and struts that are worn out. Um, and then steering, obviously. The most, one of the most important features of your vehicle is your tires. Um, it's the only thing that contacts the car to, to, to the road you're driving on. The shock's job and the strut's job is to maintain contact as often as it can. So when you're hitting bumps down the road or potholes and you're getting some jounce or rebound from that tire, the tire, if there was no shock or strut there or wasn't doing its job properly, the tire would actually lift off the ground and that's what gives you that instability. So when you're, if anyone's ever drove something with a bad shock or a strut, and you're taking a corner, sometimes you get that chatter or that bounce. Um, which is another thing too, if you've got a bad sh shock or a strut, uh, that chatter or bounce that's constantly happening as you're down the road, some people you see, you see some going on the road in front of you and their tires just going up and down like crazy, that's a good sign that the shock or the strut is bad or broken. Um, and that beating constantly of the tire on the pavement will actually cause flat spots in your tire. So then you've got a tire that's wearing you quicker than it should be. Um, some of the myths of shocks and struts are, uh, unless it, you get into some like, specialty things where you're dealing with an airbag or you're dealing with air shocks, um, they won't affect the ride height of your vehicle. If you s notice that your vehicle is squatting or leaning to one side, just sitting still in, in, a, in a flat spot, it's most likely not your shocks and your struts. You could have a mount issue possibly, um, or where it mounts to the body is you know, getting, you know, starting to flex or it's rusted out obviously that could do it but the actual if the if the components where it's fastened to are good um, you can drain all the oil out of the shock and it won't affect ride height that's that's strictly your springs that are controlling that so um, even the aftermarket on their shocks and struts uh, they recommend uh, 80,000 kilometers so um, each manufacturer has its own 
uh, we could definitely fill you in on what we recommend here. Um, it's like I said, safety inspection, we do, we do look at things, but um, it's not as in-depth as it really needs to be. So it's more of a maintenance item that you should be getting done to your vehicle after so many kilometers. Um, 60, 80,000 kilometers seems to be the norm. Some stretch out as far as 100,000, but you're dramatically dropping your, your control and stability of your vehicle when you let it go that long. Um, so yeah, with those things, uh, you're going to have better tire wear, you're going to have a better handling vehicle, better braking vehicle. Um, so shocks and struts are kind of not given the uh, appreciation they deserve, and it's one thing we kind of forget about. It's like if it's going down the road and it's not making any noise or it's clunking or banging or I took it through my safety inspection and they say it's fine, well then it must be good, but um, that's not the case. So. Um, one little tip I guess you guys can do to check to see if your struts, if you're wanting yourself, geez, I wonder how good my shocks and my struts are. One, one tip or, or that you can do yourself or thing you can do in your driveway is you can actually uh, bounce your car up and down on, on each corner. And when you stop, when you go, when you depress the suspension, you let it go and the, and the, the vehicle should rise once, come down and level. So if it continues to do this kind of just bounce and it kind of peters off, chances are you get a strut or a shock problem. And you can actually go to each corner. Uh, if you have the right front that's bad and the left front's not, you'll actually see the difference between the two. So just something you can check yourself. And if you see that, then chances are either A, your seal, like we were talking about earlier, is blown out and you've got no oil, or uh, the viscosity of the oil, because obviously with that shock and strut moving down so often, uh, it's gonna generate heat and heat breaks down fluid, the oil just like anything else in the engine or transmission. So um, yeah. Anyway, that's kind of a quick breakdown on shocks and struts. Uh, if you think yours needs to be changed or you want them checked out or uh, you notice your car is not uh, handling like it used to or braking like it used to, it's, it's possible shocks and struts could be your problem. And if that's the case, bring it on down to us and we'd love to see you and we'll see if we can get you fixed up.